morning guys happy thursday it's thursday for you guys it's wednesday for us i'm going to the barn today we are actually all going to the barn but it's my turn to ride i get to tack up i get to do it all i'm so excited i've been reading all of your comments and even the comments to the girls that you guys send me and i have been memorizing it all i've got it all planned out i feel like in my head i'm gonna be a perfect rider today but i know it's not that easy still waiting for the girls to wake up sophia um went to bed sick she kept saying she wasn't sick but she had a fever she was freezing i had to give her medicine and she went to bed early so hopefully she's feeling better today also sam was working late last night and people keep telling me check your p.o box because i sent you something that should be there by now so i told sam before you come home check our p.o box and the girls are gonna wake up to this this morning all these letters isn't that incredible and apparently there's a package there that we have to go and sign for girls are going to die literally i can hardly wait to vlog when they wake up and see all their amazing letters from you guys Good morning. Say good morning, Mom. Oh, yay. Yeah, we have mail. We have mail. And there's a thing that says we have to go and sign for a package. Just didn't fit in our box. Super cool. How many letters did we get? Uh, Six letters. One? one of them yeah. has two from the same address. Some of the letters, I recognize your guys' names on them. Super exciting. Good morning, guys. Somebody told us they were in South Africa today, and we were saying yesterday how we don't have anybody in Africa. Yeah, oh, Africa, remember? Africa's over here. <gasps> remember? Oh! Remember South? We're South. We're North. Right, so look, there you go. We found it in a second. I got reminded of never eat soggy. So we are learning our map, you guys. We can pick out stuff can like. I play Jenga with you? Yeah, I want to play Jenga today. You want to do it? I don't know how. I gotta look up the instructions. No, I know how. You have to pull one block out. I know, but how do you build like it? The tower. So you have to. Build. I know how to build. All right, we build it. Somebody yeah. suggested that we put math problems on the Jenga. What do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, anything that requires extra work, right? Okay. Anyway, we are gonna finish this map today. We still have pages of things to put in. Look at already our Australia count. And more Australians are coming in, putting up, telling us where they live. But this is how many we have right now. All those little dots. So we're all from Australia. We got one person in South Africa. And then we're all up here in the UK and over here in the States, mostly on this side of the States. Couple in California, couple in the middle here, and we have a bunch in Ontario. Couple out west. Oh, you look cute. How do you feel? Good. Do you? You don't feel sick still? How'd that medicine do? Good. What do you think? All those letters. Two tiny ones. They're from the same Three place. Three tiny ones. Four tiny ones, five tiny ones, and one big one. And one big envelope. Look at the holes. Yeah, I know. So we mailed our letters back yesterday, and we still haven't found any kind of... We want to find something fun to put on our letters, like some horsey stickers or um, who knows, like anything fun. Like somebody sent us this adorable paper clip, and it was adorable. So Thanks for giving me that medicine. You're welcome. Why? It helped. It helped? Yeah, I agree. Oh, good. I hate giving my kids medicine. Is this lemon water? No. There's so many things that we don't know about medicine, about medicine, and it's not good for you. And I believe if it, if you're gonna die and you need medicine, then that's great. But I don't like them to take medicine just for like a cold or something. But she was shivering and shaking, and so I gave her Tylenol. And you might think, oh, Tylenol is nothing. But did you guys know that there's an ingredient in Tylenol, in Tylenol that suppresses your lung function? And Sophie has really bad lung problems, so I don't like to give her that stuff. Especially heading into the winter season when she usually has some when she often has a lot of trouble but I'm glad that you like the medicine I'm glad it worked we go, um, after school I, we're going to the barn oh yeah but yeah we might go today and pick up the package
My favorite season is spring, because it's my birthday. What's yours? Um, spring. I mean, August. Yeah, August. fall. Fall is my favorite. August. you guys for the letter. We got letters today from Catherine and Katie sent us a letter. Gail Crane sent us a really beautiful card. It was lovely to read from her. Diana Juna sent us a three page letter. I love it. So Amelia asked, how many hands is Ziggy and what breed is he? <clears throat> Sophie, what breed is he? <clears throat> Easy. Um, and how many hands is he? He is 15 point something hands. Two or three, what do, what do you think it is? But guys, blue is 15 point one or two. So he must be point three, because he's big. Three or four. No, there's no point four, I've learned that. Point three. Yeah. I think he's 15 point three. We'll find out today. Oh, and um, <laughs> he's real sweet. He is really sweet. A perk of homeschool is that Sophia is sick. She is definitely sick. She's got a bowl beside her there. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's brown. She feels kind of like she might get sick. She ate no breakfast and that's not like Sophia. And she seems kind of feverish. Like, yeah, she's like working on a fever, I think. And even though she's sick, she can still Later. do homeschool and the reason is is because it's super casual and if she starts to feel sick she can lay down she can rest and casual the work that we do is kind of casual anyway so it's not like a big deal she's not going outside of recess and running and playing she's not spreading it to all the other kids she's spreading it to us Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they in my mind near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out of because we got stuck by a train. I hate when that happens. So uh, hopefully my horse is already um, saddled and I'm riding Jasmine this week. I love the idea of trying a new horse except for I miss Sinky. Hey Blue. Hey Blue. I the back legs. Okay, hurry up. Hard, hard brush, Gabby. Gabby. Hard brush, pick his feet and get it on. Let's go, let's go. Hard breath. Blue. You're gonna have somebody riding you today and that's Laura. Your mom's gonna ride blue. Your mom's riding blue. Oh wow. Your mom's riding blue. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Oh, maybe. Daddy, What? What? not clean. Dirty, you're riding today. I'm riding blue? Yeah. Get all the stuff out. Did you get his back good? Because you got to get his back good. Two tackers. In three. Three tacking up people. I'm holding the golf. Many people that take a tack a horse up three. Maybe you should get the uh, bridle ready. You like to do that? Yeah. Why do you have your purse? I have to carry my purse. You put the camera Why in. Why do you bring your purse for? Because I have the camera in it. Okay, you can't ride with your purse. No, but you can ride. You carry my purse. Fine, I'll leave it here. Tell me, how many of you do lessons with your purse? 
Bet you none of them do. None of you do. So why would you do it? No. Yes. Yeah. So he doesn't run away on you. Okay, give it to your mom. the cheering gallery here. We got Sophie, a bucket of poop, and Gabby. So, how's she doing? How's she doing? How's she doing? How's she doing, Gabby? Oh, here she comes. Going fast, eh? No, I'm better at doing it. What? I'm better at doing it. She has tiny baby kicks. She just started though. <laughs> she just started, so what's your problem? What's your problem? She's gonna trot. trot. Alright, here we go. Girls down there, they're laughing.
new horse, Smokey. You're a tiny pony. You're tiny. You're tiny. You're tiny boy. Hmm? You guys, there we have it. My lesson for today. I feel like I learned so much. I feel like all your comments about what to do with my hands helped me so much. The comments about wearing two bras, so good. It really worked. I didn't even worry about anything today. Anyway, um, if you guys have comments about how to get my butt out of that saddle when I'm trying to rise it up, then let me hear them because let me read them because because I need. Uh, yeah, it's harder than that. Oh anyway, I have comment of the day today, and it is by alberta.eq. She tried to leave this comment on YouTube, but YouTube said, hey, that's too long. You can't leave it here. So she sent it to me, and I thought it was a really good one. So she said, just saw the recent vlog. Arabians are not snotty or ugly. They're a picky breed. It's, it takes someone special to understand or love an Arabian. And no, they don't just prance around. They jump, they do barrel racing, they do cross country. A lot of people can't stand Arabians because they're too hyper. That's not the case. Arabians are a curious breed. They like to snort, have fun, and have someone to love. A lot of people breed them in with show jumping horses because of their endurance. They can go miles without breaking a sweat. It, it really does take a special person to love an Arabian, someone special. Sorry for this comment, but my horse is an Arabian. When I see someone say something not true about this wonderful breed, I need to clear the air. Take the time to appreciate these snotty horses. They are truly amazing. So thank you, alberta.eq. I uh, love that comment because I didn't know anything about Arabians and I feel like I really love spirited horses. So I think I would probably really like um, Arabians. I love how they look. Anyway, that is it for today. We are headed home for a shower and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down